Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a look at Ezio. At the time of this recording, he's the newest legend in the game, so it's gonna be exciting. He of course has the orb and the sword. Two pretty great weapons for combos actually. So we're gonna take a look at all of that, some really cool combos. We're gonna take a look at all his attacks and just my overall thoughts on him as a legend in the game. It's gonna be cool, but before we drop into it, leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this, and let's get on with the video. First of all, we're gonna take a look at Ezio's main attacks. He has three main attacks with each of his weapons, the side signature, the down signature, and the neutral signature. First off, we're gonna take a look at these attacks with the sword. The side sick goes like this. It's a pretty decent attack, the range is quite okay. It's not too close by, not too far away. If you stand really close, you will miss it. And if you stand too far away, you will miss it as well. As you see, you miss it and here it's a little bit too far away, but you can hit it from pretty far off. If you hit it from too far, you do a little bit less damage because you don't hit the first part of the attack. And if you hit it fully, it's like 26 damage. And if you hit it almost fully, it's like 20. So that's both pretty decent. It's a pretty decent side signature, not the best, but it's nice. Then the down signature, like this. This one is really cool because it doesn't have that much knockback, especially on lower damages, which makes it so that you can do really nice combos with it. The hitbox is not too big though, if you have to stand pretty close by. So that's a little bit tricky to figure out when you can hit it, but if you get this one down, you can do some really nice strings, some really nice combos with it, and it's a pretty dope attack to get used to. Then for the last one with the sword is the neutral signature, like this. This one is pretty dope, but you cannot hit it from the ground up. They have to be in the air if you want to hit it. This one's also pretty nice for some strings and combos. You will see later on as well in the combo part of this video. But it's a pretty cool one. It's diagonally above you, which is always a cool hitbox to defend yourself or to use in some strings and some combos. So it's a pretty cool attack. You do have to get used to it a little bit. It's not going to be one of those easy attacks you just get used to instantly. But if you use this one a lot, you will get really good with it. The damage is high, so it's pretty cool. You also hit them downwards, which is always pretty cool. Because if you hit them like this on the edge, they will go down. And then you can just go on top of them, hit them off, kill them. Which is always nice. Then for the attacks with the orb. First off the side signature of course. This one is also pretty cool. It's kind of the same as the side sick with the sword of course. But this one is pretty nice as you jump over your shadow kind of. And then you hit them. All these attacks are of course based on Assassin's Creed. And I really like the animations of all of them. The damage is not too big on this one. But the range is pretty decent. You can't stand too close. You can't stand too far away. You can hit it pretty close by, but if you stand like inside of them, it's not going to hit, of course. So, pretty cool attack. Then the down sick, like this. This one kind of reminds me of Gnash's down sick with the hammer. And I really, really like that attack. Gnash is actually my main, and I really love using that attack, especially to do it from a uh, gravity cancel and then just hit the enemy. They never expect it. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, this is a really cool attack. You can also use it for edge guarding, kind of. So, really nice down signature. Then for the last signature with the orb, the neutral sick, of course, like this. It's kind of the same as the neutral sick with the sword, actually. They're both pretty nice. The other one, I think, is a little bit more damage and it hits them downwards where this one hits them upwards, which the downward is a little bit nicer if you ask me. With this one, of course, you can hit them upwards and then continue with some more attacks and some strings in the air. But this one is a little bit easier to hit, I feel like, so they're both pretty equal to each other and I both really like them. Okay, time for the combos. This first combo is really, really good. It's with the sword. It's going to be a down stick into a side air, but it's amazing because it's actually a true combo, which means it cannot be dodged. It has zero dodge windows if you perform it correctly, if you get the timing perfectly right. So down signature, side air. As you see, I didn't do it correctly because I got some dodge windows here. I got one dodge window, but it's actually possible with zero dodge windows if you do it correctly. I haven't got a lot of training with this character yet and with this attack, so I don't have it perfectly down just yet. But believe me if I say it is possible with zero dodge windows. As you see, there I got it. So this is a really cool combo if you play Ezio. This is probably one of your go-to main combos because well, it's undodgeable. It's really, really good to perform and it's just amazing. Alright, this next combo is a variation on the basic sword combo, the downlight side air, like this. 
Of course, everybody knows this combo, but this one is a downlight gravity cancel neutral signature. It's a really cool combo. Uh, the dodge bonus are a little bit higher, but it's really doable if they already dodged or if you in like a lower tier, you're going to hit this one easily. Uh, if you don't know what a gravity cancel is, by the way, check down the first video link below in the description, explaining everything about Brawlhalla from chase dodging to like gravity cancels and everything you need to know about this game. This combo is a little hard to hit, especially when they still have a lot of health left, because as you see right there, the neutral stick hits a little bit high. So if you're, you might end up a little bit over them and not hit them, which is of course something why you need to train the combo and get good with it. And see if you can get the timing perfectly right and then you can hit it every single time but it's still a really nice combo <laughs> all right then for the last combo with the sword for today it's gonna be a down signature into a gravity cancel down left side air it's really cool because it's pretty long it's gonna look really impressive and if you perform it it's gonna be so sick and it's gonna look something like this as you see, really cool combo. The dodge winners are a little bit high, just like the last one, but it's still really doable. And you can get some really nice damage in. You do need to get the timing on all the parts right. So uh, you have to train it a little bit, but if you train it, you can get it to like five dodge winners on the first part and zero on the second part, because that part is a true combo. So it's always really cool if you can perform this one and just baffle your enemies with your skills. On to the combos with the orb. This first combo is going to be really easy, but it's a nice one. It's going to be a sidelight into a neutral signature. It's going to look something like this. Pretty easy, pretty cool. You can get this one to pretty low dodge windows, like around 5, I think, 4 maybe. So it's pretty cool, really basic. This one's really nice if they're low on health. Let's say they have like really low health and you just want to finish them off. You hit the sidelight, you perform this one right after and you easily kill them with it, which is really great about this combo. is pretty cool as well of course it's a side signature into a side light down light neutral air so it kind of looks something like this as you see really cool combo you can get the dodge windows really low on each part of this combo actually you can get like the second uh, and last part like to zero dodge windows i think it can be a true combo but don't quote me on that part the first part is of course the interesting part with the side signature into the side light which is actually a really cool follow up for each other because the dodge winners are quite low and they just hit really well together and then you can just do any combo or string after because most combos with the orb start with the side light. So yeah, really cool combo, really nice to know. If you play this character, of course you wanna know this one. All right, then the last combo I've got for you guys today, but it's gonna be a cool one again. It's going to be a down air into a side light, down light, gravity cancel, neutral signature. It's a really nice one to know and it's going to look really dope as well, which is always nice. It has some high dodge windows in some parts, but you can uh, counteract that by like making sure they dodged already and like hit them from a dodge or just read their moves and see what, they, what you can do about it. And also if you're like in lower ranks like iron or gold, it's probably people are not going to dodge it anyways. So it's a really cool one. Also the damage is really nice. If you see in the corner, it goes from white damage to orange instantly, which is really amazing actually for such a short combo, for such an easy combo actually. So it's a cool one to know. Try it out for yourself and see if it works for you. So that was it for this video. All the combos, all his attacks explained of course. Um, for my overall thoughts about Ezio, I think he's pretty dope. I like his weapons, I like his six. He has some nice combos as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use him a lot. I don't know if I would recommend him for starting players as the orb is not the easiest weapon to learn and sort as well. It's, they're both a little bit more moderate weapons, I would say. But you can always try him out, see what you think about him. The best way to learn legends is to just play them, of course, in Brawlhalla and see if you like them. But yeah, that was it for this video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.